Madike, not the Kano Hamadike, not the Kano Hamadike. All the feet on father, well, not the insecurity in Southeast is totally criminality, not be a fragitation. DSS. Hello, great viewers and subscribers of my time. Welcome to this noble channel where I will tell you the truth the way it is. According to DSS today, October 13th, 2023, they claim that insecurity in the Southeast is actually criminals who are carrying it. That it was not a Biafra agitators. The Department of State Survey DSS has claimed that insecurity in the Southeast leading to criminality is not Biafra agitators but some group of criminals who are hiding behind the Biafra agitation to cause chaos in Imo State. A Damina board disclosed this during a one-day stakeholders roundtable organized by Center for Transparency Advocacy, CTA, on the November 11th governorship election in Imo State. A Damina boss said the destruction and killings were simply a criminal act. It's quite unfortunate that they have not realized that uh, for so long they have accused innocent Mazen Namde Kano and IPOBs for something they didn't do. Now they have come to realize that it is criminality. The question is, who brought that criminality into Igbo land, especially Imo State? Buhari did, the former president, the predecessor of President Bola Ahmed in Ibu. And that same level, that same road he told is what Ahmed Nibo is planning as we speak. Some group of people continue to claim that they are doing whatever they're doing because now the Kali is still in DSS custody. And for your president to set him free after court has set free, it's so difficult for him. Instead, they continue. To lie against Eastern Security Network created by him. Because they want to use that opportunity to continue to keep him in custody. When will Nigerian government change? I told you that Buhari government will be a child's play to what Tinibu will perform when it comes to insecurity and keeping people unnecessarily after court has set them free. You can see it. For seven guided months, or if more, not more than that, he became a president, whether by Uru, by dubious way, by illegally kum or by something else. Doesn't make sense different to me because we told Obidet that Obi will win, but they will rig the election because it was already written. Now the color prophecy has never failed. He started saying this years ago. It was quite unfortunate that some people would not understand that gentleman because of selfish and greed because they want to be what he is, something they can never be. Dear sirs, I'm not talking about some group of criminals. The truth is this Buhari, your leader, started this group of criminals. With the help of Hope Demma Asaredokobo, 
Today, our land has been taken away. Our land has been covered up because we had a government. Use all the whole money he borrowed from China. Instead of him to use it to build road, have build road infrastructure like he claimed, he was actually using it to create terrorism in Igbo land. That is why you see today in Nigeria, nothing to show off for all the whole money Buhari borrowed from China. The question is, what did Buhari use that money to do? The only thing he used it to do is to pay so many governors and people in Despera to kidnap Namde Kal and bring him back to him. And uh, the creation of different groups in Igbo land, especially in Igbo state, where he had a vulture as a governor that was imposed by the people of Igbo people. If you go and check the record, you find that uh, some of them are even wearing masks, threatening Namde Kano. These are people, even Namde Kano comes out and said, go after them, i give you just two days, believe me. That two days is enough to get to their hide and that place that soldiers don't know, police don't know, people like us will trace it. And the fact he will be captured like a rat. All those AK 47 he showcasing, all those chain he showcasing, locally made chain he showcasing, we will tell him that there are things called different assorted that we don't want to mention here in this channel. And he'll be captured like a rat for having the audacity to threaten that he will kidnap the camp. Let me not go into that because waiting man won't do that for a mind. As far as this drug is concerned, Nam the color I know. Who are you? Nam the color I trust her respect. Who the hell are you? You have to prove yourself a big four. People recognize you. That is it. So DSS are too late because what is happening today, the are people also contributed in it. DSS was also part of a non government in Igbo land, in Igbo state, especially, precisely. Golak was sent to Igbo state for a reason to be key, the right there in Imo State, to bring chaos. Because for government, especially federal government, to use someone like us, them to bring chaos in Imo State, somebody must die. And that person who must die must be a Nottana. So this was what it is. This was why they murdered Gulak. A man who has nothing to offer Biafras, a man who is not even owing Biafras anything, a man who has never even said anything wrong about Biafras struggle. But he was murdered in Imo State just to create chaos in our land. And that chaos, our people added them today. You can see the criminals and terrorists in our land, as we speak, coming from different parts of the country, even the northern part of the country, is even more than 18 members, different members. Today, they are more than those in the northern part of the country. This is exactly what Buhari wanted to achieve. And with the money he borrowed from China and every other thing, he managed to achieve that. But the question is, why did our people allow themselves to be used? Because of porridge. They continue to castigate her. The so-called Hanese, just like I do castigate them. But have they asked themselves personally the question, or those who is leading them? What we are doing, is it even better? than what Hanese did. Is it not worse than what Hanese did? For you, you are doing the right thing by kidnapping your own people. And tomorrow, you claim you did not kidnap them. But some of them who left you have explained that you actually the one that kidnapped them. Even the one Flanny kidnapped, when the commander also said that it's Flanny that kidnapped them. So what are we talking about? Is this what is called struggle. Is it what we are fighting for? But no matter what you say, I am going to say today that DSS got to put dead and the problem happened in Igbo land today because of Buhari government. They are listening to Buhari government. They have caused so many problems in our land, so many massacres, key on armed civilians. And that raised the eyebrow 
of people who are already criminals in Igbo land that uh, was already checkmate. They started trooping out from uh, different places after Nandi Kalo was kidnapped. I don't blame them. I blame the Nigerian government. The only thing I blame them about is that they are not doing the right thing what I expected them to do. What I expect them to do to go after those soldiers recruited from them, be tough, Boko Haram and Flani terrorists, those DSS who actually recruited Boko Haram, they called them repentant, they didn't repent any jack. That's what I expected them to go, to bring them in and get rid of them, face them in their barracks, make sure that so many of them is gone. But they can't do that, rather they prefer to kidnap their own people. Does it mean that those sponsoring them somewhere in Despera did not give them money, or they're not giving them money, or does it mean that the Nigerian government, some of them who Nigerian government are supposed to pay, they're not paying them? Or they're doing that just to make sure that the Kalu continue remain in custody? This is the question some of us should ask ourselves, even those who are doing this. I think I've come to the end of this news. Jay Biafra. <laughs>